another video, y'all. It's your boy Cam back at it again with another video, y'all. Today we're doing a top 10 video. It's a top 10 up church song. You guys have been asking me for this video for a long time. So I had to deliver. You ask and shall receive. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Let me know what type of videos you guys want me to do. Let me know if you want me to do a top 10 Jelly Roll songs or a top 10 uh, uh, um, uh, Adam song. Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, y'all, let's start off with the honorable mentions, you guys. Look, these are my favorite songs, you guys. Let me know what your top, time, top 10 is in the comment section below. But no, let's start off with the honorable mentions. Honorable mentions is... I like the Donald Trump song. <laughs> I don't care about your political views, you guys. Look, this song has one of the most infectious hooks you will hear on Up Church songs. And debate me on that. Debate me in the comment section below. I don't care. That has to be one of the like one of the best hooks you'll hear, and it's the most contagious one, right? It's freaking great, you guys. I could have put Holler Holler Boy. I could have put a lot of other ones, but I really liked the Donald Trump song. I thought it was freaking dope. And he had a grabber by the coochie bar, so I had to do it. I had to. I had to, y'all. Um, and then I have another honorable mention, and it's Dukes of Hazard. I really, really rock with this song, you guys. Let me know. How do you like it? Do you really like this song? I really like the beat on this song. It's super infectious. It's one of those ones, like I say, you throw on your freaking playlist for when you're working out or you're freaking running or whatever the case may be, and it just gets you in that vibe. You're like, ah, ah. I really rock with this song. I had a very good time listening to this song. This so these songs are all on my personal playlist, and I put a lot of them on there. And what I did was is I found the ones that I enjoy the most, right? There's more then I've reacted to a hundred and I think 18 up church songs. And I'll tell you, picking this list was super freaking hard. These are songs that I feel like will be on my playlist for a longer period of time, like maybe like five to 10 years, you guys. Um, and I think this song is very good. So you guys should definitely check it out. If you haven't put checked it out and you don't know this song by up church, please go check it out. Okay, so now for the freaking actual top 10 you guys okay number 10 Brrr, summer love you guys yes i said it summer love i told you multiple times i really freaking love this song it reminds me of my girl it reminds me of when we spent time together all the memories that we have together i love you babe but yeah this song reminds me of her it's got a very country feel to it but I still freaking enjoy it. You guys know I'm not the biggest country fan, but I freaking enjoy this song. And I think that says a lot. And you can really tell that Upchurch poured his heart out in this freaking song. And it's very much conveyed through that. But let me know how you feel about it. Is it one of your favorites? Is it not? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's my number 10. All right. Now, number nine. We have Life Alert. I really freaking like this song, you guys. At first... I wasn't really feeling this song like that. If you go back in my review, I was like, meh, about it. But then, as I continue to freaking listen to this song, like I said, I wasn't really feeling this song like that. I thought it was a decent song, right? And I thought it was uh, one of those songs that I would listen to, but I didn't think it was going to make it on my top 10. But I actually, after listening to it quite a bit, I actually really enjoyed it, and I started listening to it a lot more. Every time it came up on my playlist, I was never skipping it. I was playing it all the way through. And, excuse me, and I think that really says a lot, you guys. Um, for me, I really enjoy this song, so if you haven't, go check that one out. Okay, number eight, you guys, is Death by Trippy Red. To be honest with you, this one could have been a top fiver. This could be still a top fiver. Who knows? When I redo this list next year, you guys, this may be a top fiver. I really, really enjoyed this song. My man Upchurch had me doing the freaking shoot dance in the dang video. I would, man, y'all, go check out that Death by Trippy Red reaction that I did. It was absolute fire. I freaking love that song. And he had me dancing the whole freaking time. I enjoyed the hell out of this song. He came with bars. He had different rhyme schemes on this one. And I think he slaughtered the hell out of this beat. 
Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I honestly am not the biggest fan of Trippie Red. I don't really think he's a good artist, but I think my man Upchurch killed the hell out of that beat. And at the end, I'm going to let you know what songs that I'd like my man Upchurch to do remixes to. Let me know what songs that you would want Upchurch to do a remix to. I'm going to keep asking for one certain song that I want him to remix. And if you watch my videos, you already know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Okay. So number seven is Quit Line. This song is a hidden gem, you guys. It's a slept on song. Nobody was telling me about this song. This song is absolute flames to me. I freaking enjoy the hell out of this song. His his bars on this, it's crazy, you guys. The rhyme schemes on this, amazing, you guys. And I, the, the beat overall is one of my favorite beats by Upchurch. It just makes you want to get, get up and dance the whole time. It just want to make, it just, it's a very fun song. It's one of those songs that you can play in the car with your friends. It's a club banger, in my personal opinion. If it came on at the club, I would be dancing to it. And I'm pretty sure other people would like to dance to it. I think it's a really freaking good song. Let me know how you feel about it. I really rock with this song. A lot of people don't know about this song. So if you haven't heard this Quit Lying song, please go check it out. It's absolute fire. The beat is on. If you don't even like Upchurch bars, you'll freaking like the beat. If you, if you don't like those type of beats, you'll like Upchurch's bars. It's something there for everybody. And I'll tell you this. Also, what I appreciate about it, you guys, is that it's something different, right? I, I always say this, and I feel like, you know, it, I don't say it enough, is that Upchurch brings something different to each song. It's never the same thing, and I appreciate the hell out of that. And it doesn't make me feel like I'm listening to the same song or make it feel like I'm getting bored or anything like that. But yeah, you guys, this one is absolute flames. The next one is My Neck of the Woods. I love this song, you guys. Shout out to my girl in the comment section below. She freaking loves this song. My girl, she, my actual girl, my actual girl. You know what I mean? She really likes this song too. And um, I don't know how anybody couldn't really like this song. It's a little bit country. And like I say, I don't like country. But my man of church figured out a way to sprinkle in enough of the rap and singing into the song and so i freaking enjoyed the hell out of it his singing on this was absolutely impeccable and i think it's one of his best singing performances he has a lot of great songs where he sings very well i'll tell you this i think my neck of the woods is the pinnacle of what upchurch has done in terms of singing i'm sure it's absolutely beautiful i think there was actually a person in the comment section below who told me that they went to go see him in concert and he sang the song and he said it, it literally sounded like he was like the track was playing because he was singing so well. My man Upchurch is a very good freaking singer. And it was a very good song. Um, okay, so the next, we have number five, right? And it's Fireman, y'all. This one is a little bit biased, right? I, I love Fireman. Look, I love the regular Fireman song and I love Upchurch's version. He killed the hell out of this. If you, not ha if you have not heard Fireman, by my man Upchurch. It's a remix of a Lil Wayne song, you guys. I'm Look, I think uh, 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 Lil Wayne is top five best rappers of all time. A little bit biased, but I think that my man Upchurch killed it and he brought a different freaking element to it and I really loved it, you guys. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. But this one, the beat, obviously amazing. It's legendary. It's one of, it's one, it's one of the songs that was a turning point for Lil Wayne's career, to be honest with you. And so when Upchurch did it, to be honest with you, I didn't want to have to slander him if he did bad because y'all, if he messed it up on that song, I really was going to slander him. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. But he didn't. He didn't disappoint. He did a great freaking job on it. And I love the freaking remix. I listen to it all the freaking time. And I love it. Um, the next song is YZ. Now, Easily, this could be flipped with Fireman. Easily, I, I went back and forth. This took me two freaking days. I was like, man, YZ is a freaking great song. It gets me hyped every time I listen to it. But I'm like, man, Fireman, it's just it's super bar heavy. It's freaking crazy. The, he's 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 got different rhyme patterns. It's it's great, you guys. And YZ, there's just something about it that's super infectious that I can't get over it, you guys. I love this freaking song. I listen to this song all the time. It's on my freaking playlist. Let me know if you guys would be interested in me releasing my playlist to you guys. You know, I'd be down to. Let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you guys are interested in. 
but YZ is one of my favorites. It's number four. And like I said, it easily could be number five. Fireman could easily be number four. I could see if you'd want to switch them. This is a very hard list to put, but YZ is my number four. Okay, and number three, you guys. If you watch me, you guys, you know what my number my, my top three is. <laughs> if you watch me, you know what my top three is, but it's me okay. This one, man, y'all. Man, I love this freaking song. I love this freaking song. It is absolutely amazing. And I don't think, I think anybody, if you're just trying to get your feet wet, right, and you're saying that you don't like country, right, you don't like his rock stuff, right, if you're saying that you don't like it, look, hey, I get it. But I think anybody would like me okay. I, I, I guarantee you, if you did not know it was Ryan Upchurch, you would love the hell out of this song. It is an amazing song. He does an amazing job on it. His rapping is impeccable. If you've not freaking checked it out, do yourself, look, do yourself a favor and go check out these top three songs. If you don't want to listen to the other songs, you guys, hey, I get it. But these top three songs are certified banger. You are will love these songs, you guys. These are absolute flames to me. And they're some of the best of Upchurch, right? He really shows his ability to adapt to different beats and songs in this top three but yeah y'all um i love me okay i love me some me okay uh it's not long enough for me i have it on repeat i love it <laughs> but yeah y'all okay that's number three now number two can i get a drum roll please let's go it's alpha omega you guys this song is honestly a very personal favorite to me because it's the song that actually made me want to listen to more Upchurch. If a lot of you guys have been here since I've since the beginning of me listening to Upchurch, you would know that when I listened to the first song, I can't even remember what the first song that I listened to of Upchurch, I was very unimpressed, you guys. And it kind of rubbed me. I was like, man, I was like, I kind of don't get the hype. I, I kind of didn't get the hype. I didn't know Upchurch personally. I still don't know him personally, but I'm, you know, I know that he seems like a very nice guy. I don't, maybe one day we'll be able to kick it, but Point being is this, is that Alpha Omega actually made me want to listen to Upchurch's music more. And I appreciate the hell out of this song. This song is freaking amazing. I, I love this song. It's very simple. Don't get me wrong. You're not going to get m many complexities from this song. It's very straightforward. The beat is straightforward. But... I'm telling you, it will get you amped up. Like if you're at the gym and you're just trying to move some weight, or you're at work, right, and you're 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 doing construction, or uh, well, you're not supposed to have uh, headphones. And don't do that. Matter of fact, don't do that. That was wrong. And, you know, if you are in the office or whatever, and you're able, you know, you have a little nine to five job, and you're in a cubicle, and you're able to just type in a way or whatever some emails. Listen to the song. It'll get you hyped. And it'll get you through your day. Do not wear uh, headphones when you're on a construction site. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, uh, I love this freaking song, and it's actually one of the songs, well, my first song that I really enjoyed by freaking Up Church, and it started my journey. So this is a personal favorite of me and mine. Now, a lot of you guys know what number one is going to be. It, look, number two could have been easily number one, you guys. Easily. Easily could have. But I'm going to let you guys know, I love this song. This song is the outro to his freaking uh, videos, you guys. And you already know what it is. It is my motherfucking favorite song. It is Red Coat. This song is criminally underrated. And I mean by the mainstream. Why is this not on the radio? Why, why is this not on the radio? I love this song. This song gets me amped up every freaking time I hear it. Up church, if I ever go to a freaking concert of yours, if you ever come to the city that I'm in, dude, I want to hear Red Coat. That Red Coat song is absolute fire. I freaking love it, you guys. I don't even need to explain you the complexities of it. I just freaking love it, you guys. It is a banger of all bangers. I'm getting to my 15-minute mark, you guys. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, don't worry. In the future, very soon here, we will not have a time limit. But yeah, y'all, I just want to say I enjoyed the hell out of making this list. Let me know your top 10 in the comment section below. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to catch you in the next video. Hey.